Planet Dolan. From cutting off nipples to deadly cheeses, we answer 10 of your most burning questions about life. Hi everyone, I'm Doopy, and today I'll be reading out the questions and answers. And I'm Nixium, the mightiest of heroes, the slayer of dragons, and the stealer of the hearts of women. Mm. And, of course, as usual, the bringer of truth. Jeff Alexander asks, why is paper sharp around the edges? Back during the ancient times of feudal warring states, the paper warlord and his men brutally slaughtered the rock nation with their superior paper weaponry. But suddenly, he was killed by the leader of the Scissors Nation, and in his final breath, the paper warlord said, May all paper give paper cuts to all of mine enemies. Paper is made from wood chips, water, and chemicals that are all put into a pressure cooker and made into pulp. After being processed, the pulp is dried and made into paper in long rolls. A machine called a slitter cuts the long rolls into manageable sheets of paper and because the cutting process is so fine, oftentimes sheets of paper have sharp edges. Jickety Jack asks, how are electric eels electric? I don't know. I don't know nothing about eels. How are electric eels electric? What do I look like? Some kind of... some kind of astronaut to you? Nixium, there are no electric eels in space. But there's not? Whoa. All living cells, including mine and yours, have a type of electrical charge. The special cells inside of an electric eel, called electrolytes, polarize to create small charges individually. What really gets shocking results is when the electrolytes in their electric organs stack and create a very powerful charge. Think of a name here asks, what's the deadliest cheese? This. This is without a doubt the funkiest cheese I have ever found. It's moldy and it stinks, and I love it. Doopy, try it. You'll love it too, I swear. Please, no, get that stuff away from me. Oh, what's wrong? Don't be a baby. Taste it. It's really good. Oh, yeah. Oh. Mm. That is disgusting. Mm. Eh. More for me. Mm. You would think that all cheese is pretty safe, but the Kasumazu cheese, or rotten putrid cheese from Sardinia, Italy, may be an exception. Kasumazu is a cheese made out of goat's milk that is left out in the open for flies to lay eggs in. Once the eggs hatch, the fly maggots feed on the cheese and release enzymes that allow the cheese to ferment. Hungry? Eric Inglet asks, why does popcorn pop when you microwave it? I'm going to be honest. Popcorn is really confusing. I mean, how do you, how do you get all that fluffy stuff out of this little kernel? Tell me your secrets, you little bitch. Nixium, language. <laughs> you can't tell me what to do, you little. <laughs> oh, uh, I mean, <laughs> Tell me your secrets, little... corn. Much better. Now then, when the kernels are heated up from the power of the microwave or stove, the water droplet evaporates and turns into steam. Since the steam is trapped in a solid part of the kernel called the hole, it starts to build pressure until... Pop! Mr. Russell Grow asks, Like an anime, is it possible to gain a nosebleed when staring at something sexual? Well, I never get nosebleeds when I see cute guys. That's just dumb, and you shouldn't get distracted and stuff. What about me, Doopy? I'm really hunky. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you're, like, dead. Oh, right. Yeah. Well, I guess you look... Okay. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> you can't buy guns like these at the store, baby! <laughs> 
While it may not be as crazy as it is in anime, it is possible but not likely to get a nosebleed when looking at something sexual because as the human body becomes sexually aroused, blood pressure rises. That being said, there is no proper documentation that sexual arousal and nosebleeds have direct correlation. Koala Girl asks, If you cut off your nipple, would it grow back? <laughs> it sure will. In fact, if you cut your nipple off, it will grow into three more nipples. And that, that my friends, is how we get the word triple. Nixium, that's not true. How do you know, Doopy? I, you know, I bet you have a triple. Yeah. Nipple tissue is hormonally sensitive, meaning that it changes during moments of hormonal shifts like puberty and pregnancy. Because of this, nipple tissue has a pretty high regenerative ability and can heal the wounds left by chafing or biting from breastfeeding. But if someone were to take a knife and cut their own nipple clean off, they would live nippleless for the rest of their lives. <laughs> Kilton Santoso asks, what if pain had never existed? Pain? was that? Uh, you don't know what pain is? Here. Oh wow, you really don't feel it. Uh, no, I didn't feel anything. Do you? Oh! Oh, pickles! Uh, oh, hold on, hold on. Uh, what happened? Uh, you, uh, you got stung by a bee. A really big bee. With, with, uh, with, uh, with laser beams. It was really awful. Yeah. That's what happened. The reason why our bodies produce pain is to react to dangerous external threats that may greatly harm our bodies. There are a few people that can feel no pain. They have what is called congenital analgesia. People who have congenital analgesia, or CIPA, are born without the formation of nerve cells that transmit signals of pain, heat, and cold to the brain. Omic Sun God asks, what's the worst drug known to man? One time, while traveling in the western forests of Nel Karak, I found myself in a clearing. I hadn't eaten in days, but luckily, there were some berries growing nearby. Oh, they were delicious. I must have eaten like 50 of those little things. And then, and then, I discovered they were magic berries. And suddenly, all the trees started singing, and there was this magic talking dragon named Nepo who took me into the air, past the horizon, and to the gumdrop fairy lands of Nor. Oh, man. Those berries were great. The three drugs seen as most dangerous in the world are bath salts, which when taken have the potential to make the user go into psychosis, Wunga, a drug made out of HIV medication but when smoked can cause heart failure and even death, and finally, desomorphine or crocodile, an injected drug that turns the user's skin green, eats away at the tissue, and rots the flesh away until there's nothing left but bare bone. Roblox Gamer asks, why do most blind people wear sunglasses? Uh, to look cool. Duh. <laughs> wow, could you like, stop doing that? Thousands of blind people live with a small amount of poor vision. Blind people who live with a small amount of vision wear sunglasses so they can see better and lessen the harshness of the sun's UV rays. Additionally, many blind individuals choose to wear sunglasses to allow others to identify them as blind. Julia Oriana asks, How come a koala looks like a bear but is not in the same family? Ooh, I know a thing or two about koalas. Koalas are not just bears. They're like tigers, bears, dragons, and demons combined. Koalas, they'll, they'll like drop knives from trees. They have knives for claws. And they have, they have even more knives for fingers. Even more knives. They're pretty much walking knives. Nixium, what are you talking about? Oh, you didn't know? Dude, koalas are killing machines. But they're so cute. Bears are big, stinky, mean, ugly bullies of the forest. Koalas are sweet little cotton balls who live in trees and take naps all day long. Ugh, you disgust me. Koalas, awfully incorrectly called koala bears, are a part of the marsupial family of mammals, meaning they raise their babies in a pouch. 
When Europeans first came to Australia, they saw the koala and thought they looked like bears, thus calling them koala bears. Bear or not, koalas are killing machines. And you know what, Doopy? You know what? They like killing and eating little blonde girls like you, most of all. <laughs> <laughs> Nixium, quit it! You're starting to freak me out. Doopy, what if a koala was right behind you? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Oh, that was a classic. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. Have a cool one!